<laughs> I'm Gwendolyn. I am a senior at Marion High School, which doesn't really matter. Um, and this is my poem, Call of the Void. So, I'm not really sad anymore, and I don't really hurt anymore, and not in the apathetic way, but in the I might actually possibly kind of be getting better way. The need to hide behind a wall of lies and makeup, to be the sad story at a class reunion honored by a moment of silence, to be the girl who honestly didn't even see herself in the future, let alone want to have one, it's gone. And it should be a good thing, right? I mean, I haven't felt like killing myself in months. There's still that thought when I'm driving of what would happen if I just kept going straight. If I didn't turn when I was supposed to, if I drove head on into that cement wall. But it's no longer a plan. I no longer brace for impact or close my eyes for the split second that I actually consider doing it. It's just a thought that flits in and out of my mind. I should be content, right? I mean, my grades are good. People ask me out. I have plans every weekend, so why do I feel the need to ruin something? Why do I feel like something is off? Like, I don't want to rearrange all the pictures in my room or get so absorbed in a book that I forget to eat or sleep for three days or go out and make memories that I won't remember the next morning or do anything I used to want to do. Maybe it's because it feels like all of my skin has shifted three inches to the right. Maybe it's because I'm claustrophobic in an empty church. Maybe it's because I didn't cry, cry at my grandpa's funeral. Maybe it's because I'm broken. Maybe it's because I'm broken. I have everything I should want. I have everything that is important in high school, but it's like I opened somebody else's Christmas presents. Like, I'm happy I have all this new stuff, it's just, there's still that thought that it wasn't meant for me. That I ruined somebody else's morning. But yeah, right, I'm happy. <laughs>